Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain you one of the most important widget called as resizable widget. So, some of the developers don't know about this concept. So, I will give you the complete detailed information about this one. Don't skip the video, please try to watch the entire video. This video might be helpful to you. So, first of all, I am taking one stateful widget here. Home page. I'm taking one scaffold. Here I'm taking one body. Adding some container here. So I'm going inside the perfect camel file. Here I add this library. Multi split view. So by using this library, we will be able to achieve the uh, splitting functionality of the widget it means uh, we will able to resize the widget by using the drag and drop okay after adding this library do flutter pop get Okay, done. So after that, go inside the main dot file here. So just first of all, run this code. How it is coming? Flutter run minus d chrome. So our application is launched. So currently we have the empty container. So that's why here we are, we are not getting anything. So after that, go inside. Here take one multi, multi split view controller. Okay, done. Controller is done. After that, here multi multi split view multi split view initially it will be empty nothing so we add in take init function so inside the init function multi split view equal to multi split view here we have to pass the children so children will be the list of the widgets so I am taking here widget list initially it will be empty so after that I am adding um, container color red okay add one more I am taking three containers adding inside the list first one will be red second one will be green third one will be blue okay so after this I am adding this list to the children okay and also we are having few more properties here so access direction we have to uh, we have to give access also horizontal because I am placing this uh, children's inside the row that's why after that controller also we have to add 
multi split view controller okay done so this two will be enough right now okay okay done after that multi split multi here we have to take one more multi split view theme okay okay done so after that multi split view theme here child we have to pass here so whatever the multi split view is created here this one we have to pass here and also data so data will be divider thickness I'm giving 0 0.5 or giving 2 and a divider painter no need so here this one no need okay okay this will be the widget and also okay done so here we have to add one condition if <coughs> multi split view not equal to null then only we are creating this multi split view theme object so here we will be able to remove not otherwise put not okay done okay so now here we list created theme data also created split view created controller also we added here so after that so this multi split view will be the one of the widget this will this will render multiple widgets of the drag and drop okay so let's run this code and check how it is coming okay so if you see here our application is launched here uh, if you see here both three colors is came here so three will be ta taken equally okay so if i if i move the cursor between this white line between the green and the red here my mouse will be changed to drag and drop drag and drop pointer okay so what i will do just i will by using this i will able to decrease the width of the widget and increase the widget of width of the widget we will do both things decrease and increase similar way here also same thing if you see same like this like this so we will be able to give some minimum height so up to that only it will be drag after that it will not unable to drag so for that one what you have to do so here whatever the controller we are having inside this controller we are having few properties areas so inside the area we are having one area object it means this will be inside the area only so place inside the area after that 
here give the give minimum size minimum size will be i am giving 80 okay so this one minimum height 80 so now second one i am giving 150 so third one i am giving um, 300 okay so this means first red color will take minimum width 80 minimum width up to that it will be uh, drag we will able to minimize up to that the second one 150 third one 300 so let's run this code and check how it is coming okay now i am dragging this one up to some width see so up to this we are unable i am unable to do the drag because we given some minimum size na 80 so that's why so for the red color this must space it is occupying comes to the green it will take 150 minimum width see like this now if you take 300 it means the blue blue color blue color will be blue color is taking 300 see this is 300 blue color so up to this we able to drag so and also here we are having few more properties inside the area uh, size also there it means we will able to give some uh, default size default width and height otherwise uh, first of all we will give some 100 here for second one also i am giving some uh, 200 we'll see how it will do now if you see so default I am giving width as hundred, so that's why the first red color box is taken hundred width. Second one two hundred, two hundred is taken. So third one, so third one we didn't given anything. So whatever the remaining space is there, it will be occupied automatically. So we don't want to give anything. So this is the way we will able to uh, do any resizable would get by using this library. just i am adding some data inside this would gets i am removing the colors so first one i am taking one column inside the column i adding the children container child text hello my name is hussein here i am taking one elevated button elevated button on press child text button name is name will be button okay so similar way similar way add here also add here also so instead of the second one remove the elevated button this one no need uh, the second box the second box i am adding some extra content here
okay so the second one i add one text here so in this case no need column okay now just add this container okay so i am removing the container here also no need just adding one elevated button uh, giving the third button okay so let's run this code and check how it is coming okay otherwise just to add yeah, some color red okay now uh, here add green okay done let's run this code and check okay so but we need those content inside the center so for that i am adding the alignment okay done so main exercise will be minimum minimum okay okay and also i am giving padding all 10 okay so let's run this code and check how it is coming okay so here you are getting three boxes our content also properly working so and also adding more text here the second one we'll see what will happen So let's run this code and check how it is coming. So I am adding one more. Okay, now let's run this code and check how it is coming. Content is added, but uh, the full content is not showing here. So for that one, what we have to do? Uh, so just uh, add a scroll. Add a scroll to this container. Now, if you see here, our full content is showing here. You see here 